Hi friends! Sorry it's been so long, um, but I wanted to jump on and give you an update of hopefully briefly what's been going on, um, why I've been absent from here, um, although I'm sure you've probably been able to guess that reason. Um, and I'm hoping that I can get more in the swing of things, but it probably won't happen until after December because um, December is pretty crazy as I'm sure it is for the rest of you, um, but I would like to get some videos up if I could, um, especially like my labor and delivery story because my son is here and he's two months old, <laughs> um, so yeah, it's been a while. Um, I don't even think I ever uploaded one of my latest pregnancy update videos, so I'll try to pop that one on here too in case anyone's interested in that. Um, oh yes, and this. Um, I was going to take a shower and brush my hair and kind of get myself a little put together and I mean it's still morning time so I could but then I was thinking well this is the best time I have to do a video. I haven't gotten into school yet with the kids today. We haven't totally gotten into our swing of things. So I thought I'm just going to give you real life um, in this video and sorry about that but that's what it's going to be um, and it'll probably be like that for a while but this is real life of a mom of four young children. Um, so my son was born. He was born on, oh, and sorry for the shaky um, camera. I don't have a tripod or anything. Someday, someday I'm hoping to, but you get me holding the camera. So, yay. Um, but my son was born on September 30th um, at 1.26 p.m. after a 32-hour labor Yes, that's 32 hour labor with my fourth child. <laughs> my longest one! Um, so that was fun. Not really. Um, yeah. Uh, he was five days past his due date, so he was actually my earliest child. Um, my third daughter, Shiloh, was born six days past her due date, and the other two were 11 days past. So he was actually my earliest, but he was my biggest at 8 pounds 11 ounces and 21 inches long and now at two months old he is a big chunker um he's apparently taking after his daddy because his daddy did this when he was a baby he has almost doubled his birth weight already he's as of a few days ago at his appointment he was 15 pounds 12 ounces so just shy of 16 pounds already and 24 and three quarter inches long so he is way up there, and he's not a little baby anymore, which is really sad because he's our last, and I wanted him to stay a little longer, but it is what it is. He is definitely a boy, that's for sure, and I love having him. He's so sweet. His twos are so sweet. He has the best smiles, and uh, he's actually a fairly easygoing baby. It's very rare for him to... um i like for not being tired or hungry like just to be just because he's cranky it's actually very unusual for him like I can't even remember having very many evenings you know like the witching hour where they're just like crying inconsolably no matter what you do they just won't settle down I remember having lots of those with um the other with the girls by this age um, a number of those nights at least and I think he's had one and that was just a few nights ago, and that was the day that he got um, his first round of vaccinations. So I'm pretty sure it was more because of that than anything else, because um, otherwise he's fairly easygoing. He actually enjoys car rides, which my other kids never did at this age. You know how people always tell you, oh, just go take them into the car and they'll fall asleep or whatever. You know, it'll calm them down, the motion and the noise and things like that. My girls were not like that. They would scream bloody murder for 45 minutes, hour-long car rides. No matter what you did, take them out and nurse them um, and try to, you know, burp them and change their diaper and make them comfortable. They hated the car. Absolutely hated it. And he, for the most part, likes it. He'll calm down. He'll put himself to sleep. Um, it's very rare for him, actually, to cry an entire car ride. So that's such a blessing because there's times when Shiloh is still crying in the car or the other girls are fighting in the backseat of the car. And so to have more than one child screaming and crying, 
that can definitely get on your nerves. <laughs> um, but so it's so it's a huge blessing that he it's unusual for him to um be like that. Sorry, switching hands. My arm is hurting. Um, and but he is a very I don't know if you can hear him. He's just laying down at my feet here on the bed. Um, he's a very noisy baby. He is super grunty at night. Um, he sleeps in bed with us and. He's gotten better, at least I've gotten better at sleeping with the noises, um, but it was really rough there for the first few weeks at least, if not longer. He was just so grunty, like, and I'm not talking like little cute little grunts, because that's what my girls did. They did cute little baby noises in their sleep, and you're like, oh, okay, you can hear them, you're like, you know, they're okay, because you can hear their little noises. No, he is like grunting where you cannot sleep through the grunting, like, I could wear earplugs and still hear him grunting, um, and I did <laughs> for a while there. Um, so he's just a much noisier baby. Um, but so I don't know if he's just calmed down with that more, or if I've gotten used to it more. Um, he still wakes up a decent amount at night, which is normal for all my other kids. My kids don't sleep through the night until they're closer, definitely past a year old. Um, my two oldest were a year and a half before they started sleeping through the night. And then uh, Shiloh was a little over a year, and then she started teething, and that, uh, so we had about a month of sleeping through the night, and then that kind of ruined it, the teething. Um, and so I don't even really remember when it started happening again. So I'm not anticipating sleeping through the night at a young age, because it's just not our normal. Um, but he seems to wake up at least twice to nurse, which is actually fairly good from what I remember. And, um, he nurses and then we kind of just fall asleep together, him in my arms. And then at some point I wake up and put him back in his little spot on our bed. And then a little, you know, I don't know, however long later, he'll wake up again to nurse and we'll kind of do that routine again. Um, so I'm getting okay sleep. <laughs> um, not the greatest obviously, but it's, I think it's better than what I've had in the past at this age. So, um, yeah, he's doing great, and we love having him, and it's crazy to think that we finally have a boy in our family, which we never thought we would have, and didn't necessarily, we were going to be completely happy having a fourth girl, um, but it is kind of fun having the boy, I can already tell, even though it's not that much different than having a girl at this age, but I don't know, I guess maybe it's more me thinking ahead of the future of what it's going to be like to have a little son, and I get to have mommy and me dates with him, which is kind of exciting. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. Sorry if you see me looking down, I'm looking at him. Um, yeah, so life has been crazy, especially with the holidays now in full swing. Um, just getting into a routine of things, um, not feeling like a zombie and getting the other kids taken care of and then, you know, taking care of myself some and taking care of him. Oh, and by the way, his name's Landon. It took us, um almost 32 hours, the same amount of time as my labor, to decide on a name for him after he was born. <laughs> so that was fun, but we love him. And um, yeah, so, and we're back into homeschooling. Um, we just did a couple weeks in November and then took some time off for Thanksgiving. And I got sick and, right before Thanksgiving, so it was good to have that time off. And then last week was our last, or we got back into the swing of things last week. For the week we're gonna do this week and then we're gonna take a few weeks off for Christmas and then we're officially halfway through our school year I believe because we started so early this year so that's kind of exciting to have that notch on our belt that we're actually moving in the right direction on things so that's neat um, and then I so yeah so things have just been busy and that's why I have been neglectful of this channel and sorry about that but it is life and um, other things are just top priority, um, with the little bits of extra time that I do have, if I get any of it each day, um, there's just, this is just more of a, a side thing, so, sorry if there's no consistency, because there isn't, um, but that's just my stage of life right now. So, um, yeah, I'm hoping to get my labor and delivery story out to you guys. I may record it right after this, so you're going to get this again. Um, and then I do want to do a Christmas present haul for you. I have all their gifts 
except for why am I getting delivered? I think. Oh no, <laughs> my mom's picking that one up from the store, so we aren't going to have that until right before Christmas. Um, yeah, so those are some videos I want to do, and then I'm hoping to get more into things in January, maybe. We'll see. We'll just see how things go with homeschooling and everything. But I just wanted to say hi, and we're alive, and we're we're doing okay. <laughs> um, and my son is here, and he's adorable and cute and sweet. And we love them. So I hope you all are doing well and that you have a great um, Christmas season with your family and get to spend good time with them. That's what we're trying to focus on is uh, family activities that we can do together uh, and enjoy. Oh, you hear him? It's time to go. All right. I'll talk to you later. Bye.